Hi guys and welcome to Common Sense Outdoors. In my previous video I showed the bird perch snare. I gave multiple tips to make it easier, work better from using a, a wooden motor or weight to putting a leaf in the top, using a piffy centered stock as your base pole so that you only have to put one hole in one side and then you can just break out the back side. Uh, the leaf keeps your bird from landing right here. Make sure they land out here. <clears throat> now today's tip I left out of that last video intentionally because I believe that you need to have multiple traps for a survival situation that can catch an animal without using bait. For the instance that you do not have bait to begin with. Now once you catch an animal the parts you don't eat become bait to catch the next animal. <clears throat> but until you have your first animal, bait could be an issue. So, like the video or the title says, uh, we're going to show you how to bait this trap. The huge advantage to that is this trap by itself, without being baited, uh, it could take days to, for a bird to decide to use that as a perch. It could take a day, it could take an hour, but it could take three days. It depends a lot on the flight pattern. If you're if you're in a good fly zone with a bunch of birds going back and forth, you're gonna it's gonna work a lot faster. Um, by the way, I've made a condensed version today. This is only a couple feet off the ground, just for demonstration purposes, so that I can get all that what I want to show you into the camera view without having to continually move the camera. So, brought out a chunk of wood here. We're going to use it as a little bench. Now to, to bait this set, which is going to greatly increase your odds and the amount of time it's going to take to catch a bird. Like I say, if it's not baited, a bird will use it as a perch at some point. If it's baited, you're going to attract them to that and it's going to work a lot faster. So you're going to do everything the same. Let's move our leaf for a minute. You're going to do everything the same. And then all you're going to do is take your, your perch stick or your trigger. Actually, what I need to do first is get my piece of cordage. Just going to use a piece of bank line today. Okay, the end that goes in to your base pole. I want to take and hold it alongside of the stick, and then just make a loop. And I'm going to wrap it about. I'm going to wrap it about five times, nice and tight. I think that was six, but that's all right. Let's scrunch all those together, nice and tight. And I'm going to take my tag in. I'm going to go right through that loop. Now I'm going to go back to my first tag. Let's see if I can pull it without pliers. I'm just going to pull that. Yep, I got it. Pull that underneath those wraps. A cinch knot. Cut off my tags. If I can, I'm going to scoot. I should have put this up a little further. I'm going to scoot it back down just a little bit. These, this wrap is going to have a double purpose. Okay, so now we've got that wrapped nice and tight. We're just going to take, if our, if our purchase designed to fit specific. We want to figure out where it sits. 
and then take our knife horizontally and we're going to split this stick. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be heavy enough. I've just got the other half of this elderberry stock that I have as my base pole. Okay, now we've got a split stick. It's tied so that it won't split all the way out. What we want to do is take another little piece of cordage. We're going to do pretty much the same thing that we did on the other end, except for I'm not going to make it near as tight and I'm only going to go three wraps. And I'm going to stick that through that loop again. I'm going to pull that loop down tight. And then I'm going to take my two tags and tie a square knot. What that should do, and get rid of my tags, what that should do is give me a wrap that will slide. I can slide it up and down my perch stick. This is tarred bank line, it's not the best cordage for this part. But now I have a way to put bait in this stick, and then I slide this back up to hold it, hold it in. This wrap is also going to have a double purpose. Okay, let's talk about bait for a second. Um, there's many different things that I could use for bait in this. A sprig of berries, uh, if I had already caught something like a fish, I could use a little piece of fish or a small piece of meat that will attract a lot of birds such as uh, crows, ravens, blue jays, camp robbers. Um, if I happened to have had a sandwich in my pocket I could have saved a little piece of the crust or the bread. It would make good bait. Now if my survival kit happens to have a couple of things in it that I like to carry. One of them being a small bag of bird seed. This is a two by two bag I think with just a little little bit of bird seed in it. I have another one with a little bit of peanut butter, half a spoon of peanut butter in it. These two things right here alone if I don't have any bait to start with these two baits right here I can catch multiple multiple meals quite a lot actually and another thing I also had is super glue in that kit so if I happen to have those things like I say there's multiple ways you can bait this but if I have those things this is how I'm gonna go and all I did was take a little dab of the super glue put it on a green leaf and then took some of the seeds and put it on there let it dry actually folded the leaf, poured the seeds that didn't stick back into the little baggie. Now I have bird seed on a green leaf which is a great contrast and it's not falling off, it's not going anywhere. So if I slide down my top wrap, open my chopsticks basically, 
and I pinch this leaf and I slide that wrap back up now that isn't going anywhere <clears throat> the great thing about doing that right there is that with this trap the perch being the trigger stick when the bird lands on this trigger stick falls out get my cord up high enough bait falls out with it so they never get that bait unless a second bird comes along and grabs it off the ground so if this trap were to not pay off I have my bird seed on that leaf I can take that and use it in conjunction with another bird set such as a spring pole snare now if I get my snare loop set right these two wraps that I put on here help hold my snare loop in place Up. hair trigger If I get my snare sized right, I can lay it across to each end of those two wraps and it also helps hold my snare in place. So there you have it. Like I said, you can bait this with many different things. Um, going this route, like I say, when they land on this and it falls to the ground, your bait's still going to be there. It's always going to be there. They're not going to get to it. You can take that and use it with another trap and just a little tiny bit of seed. Again, the seed on the green leaf provides a great contrast that they'll see easy. They'll come and land on this. Get your leaf back in the end there so that they don't land there. The two leaves prevent them from landing that way or that way centers them right to where you want all right guys i hope you like the idea another little tip for the bird perch snare thank you for watching as always for your views comments likes and support and we'll see you in the next video